Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Riley McManus. Sylvie Hoth has been suspended as Chief of the Thunder Bay Police Service. The announcement came late this afternoon following today's meeting of the Police Services Board. It all comes just a few days after Hoth announced her plans to retire next year, which was soon followed afterwards by announcement that Hoth is facing Police Act charges. Vasilio Spellos reports. The Police Services Board meeting entered closed session not long after it began to consider the future of Police Chief Sylvie Hoth. It was announced last week that Hoth would be retiring next June, then later that same day, the OCPC announced that she is facing three counts of misconduct under the Police Act. Hoth did not attend this meeting with board officials explaining that she had taken a leave from her duties. Acting Deputy Chief Dan Taddeo was given the new role of Acting Chief. Board Administrator Malcolm Mercer says there was a closed-door discussion about a possible suspension of Hoth, but could not provide a timeline. As administrator, the decision fell solely on Mercer, but he stressed he would welcome input from others. Uh, I am the sole voting member of the board, so uh, in a, a legal sense that is so, but I have uh, uh, considered it important to consult with and work with the board and to, uh, uh, where possible, develop consensus amongst us. Ultimately, uh, uh, you'll hear what we decide to do when we think it appropriate to tell you. Then late in the afternoon, a media release from the board confirmed that Hoth was suspended as a result of the serious allegations brought forward by the OCPC. During the meeting, the board also took the initial step to find Thunder Bay's next police chief. Mercer agreed to the hiring of Odger Bernstein, the firm that has been used for the past three chiefs of police, coming with a price tag of $45,000. Board member George Ann Morisot voiced concerns over the decision based on the issues the police force is currently facing. Our, our track record with the service isn't exactly very good in the last several, several years, especially right now. Um, so I was hoping that we wouldn't just sole source and that the board could have a conversation around what a recruitment process needs to actually look like. The meeting was also a first for newest board member Shelby Chung, who was sworn in during the proceedings. She replaced Chris and Oliver, who resigned in protest of the appointment of Mercer. Chung talks about what she believes she can bring to the board. What I can do, what I can offer is my experience as a city council member for the last eight years, number of boards and committees. I'm here to roll up my sleeves and make sure that the community is well represented on this board. There are no other police board meetings scheduled this summer, though dates are set aside in July and August in case any significant topics arise or decisions need to be made. Vasilios Bellows, CBT News.